Hi, I'm Arturo Hinojosa from Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Policy Summaries table in AWS Identity and Access Management, also known as AWS IAM. Instead of reading JSON policy documents, the Policy Summaries table provides you an easy-to-read option to view the permissions defined in your IAM policies. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the information you can view in the IAM Policy Summaries table. Let's get started. To view the IAM Policy Summaries table, we'll begin by logging into the AWS Management Console. Let's go to the IAM Console by choosing IAM. Next, click on the Policies in the Navigation pane. Here, we see the list of your IAM policies. For each of your policies, you can view the policy type, number of times this policy has been attached to a user, role, or group, and a description of the policy. In IAM, there are four types of policies, inline, customer managed, AWS managed, and job functions. Inline policies and customer managed policies can be created by you or someone in your organization. Inline policies can be attached to a single user, role, or group. Customer managed policies can be attached to multiple users, roles, or groups. AWS managed policies are created by AWS. AWS updates and maintains these policies as new features are added to AWS services. Job function policies are also managed by AWS. These policies grant permissions based on common job functions, such as database administrator or developer. Now, let's view the IAM policy summary for one of these policies. I can search for my policies by name and filter the results by using the policy type filter. Let's search for database administrator. This is a job function type policy. By clicking on the database administrator name, we can see the details for this policy. Under the Permissions tab, we can view the IAM Policy table for Database Administrator. Using the IAM Policy Summary table, you can view the services, access levels, resources, and conditions defined in this policy. You can click on any service, such as CloudWatch, to view which actions are granted by the policy. You can also click on the Show Remaining link to view which actions are not granted. If you need to view the JSON document for a policy, you can click on the JSON button, or use the AWS API. In this video, we've seen how policy summaries can help you understand the permissions granted by your IAM policies. To learn more, visit our website. Thank you for watching.